Hello everyone, let's take a look at Liquid 1570, not product of two sparse vector. Since it's a log question, so let's take some time to read this problem. If I, uh, if why this is um, like Facebook interview questions, in the past six months, it appeared like 39 times. So the problem is, given two sparse vectors, we need to compute the dot product. So we have a class called sparse vector and we need to implement the constructor which accepts nums as the input and the dot product. So a sparse vector is a vector that has mostly uh, zero values. We should store the sparse vector efficiently and compute the dot product between two sparse vector. Let's take a look at some examples. We can see uh, there are some zeros in these um, sparse vectors. So in a naive implementation, we just store the uh, input in our sparse vector. So we just take like about O n times to get the dot product. But like, what if the dot product can be called multiple times? So it, in our naive implementation, you always take O n times. But we know in sparse vectors, there are a lot of zeros. Zero multiply anything like it's zero. So we should only store the values that is and it's not zero, right? Okay. Let's take a look at the implementation. So like you can use map or you can also use a, like a vector. Here I use a vector and I just store the index and the values. So if it's zero, I just ignore it. Otherwise I start the index and values. Then the dot product, I will have two pointers. One point to the index value pairs in my current class. Another index is point to the index value pairs in the input class. Okay, so this is the result. Okay, then I just use the normal like two pointer algorithm. As long as uh, the two pointers are within the valid range, I will continue the while loop. If the index in the, uh, in the um, that first index value pairs is smaller, I will increment i. If index in the second one is smaller, I will in increment j. Otherwise, if they're same, then they point to the same position. So I can multiply them and contribute to my dot product. So I just move these two pointers. Okay, so the key point like for this problem is how to save the like input like efficiently. Since it's, it's a sparse vector, there are many zeros. We don't care about zeros. So we just store value sets is not zero. Okay, that's it. See you next time.